Well, here we are. I've got a heavy camera, some paracord, and a 3D printer. But what I don't have is a camera strap. Now you might be thinking, why not just buy a camera strap? <laughs> not on this channel. So if I was being really lazy, I could just run the paracord around my neck and tie it to my camera straps. The problem is, is that this is way too thin and the weight of my camera focused on the tiny cross section of the strap, that's not comfortable. Also, it doesn't look cool. So for this project, my inspiration is tanks, specifically tank tread. The cool thing about tank tread is that it's a bunch of solid links that can move around the center to go over curved surfaces. And I wonder if I could build something similar to distribute the weight across my neck. Let's draw a picture. So my thought is that I can build links that are joined in the center and on the top and bottom of those links, I can have hollow channels to feed paracord through. This will prevent the paracord from getting tangled, but also kind of spread it apart and maybe distribute the weight. I guess we should do some CAD. All right, well, that doesn't look too bad, but will the joints flex? Will the paracord fit through the holes? There's only one way to find out. Let's print it. Well, the prototype turned out pretty well, so I think we're ready for a beta test. Before we go all the way to doing a neck strap, let's do something a little smaller, like a wrist strap. The existing one I have on my camera, it's a little small and weak. I think it's time for an upgrade. This was the prototype. This is my wrist strap. It's the same thing, but I scaled it up from five links to 11. And I added these nice little end caps without joints so that it's a little bit more polished. Check it out. Uh, this actually looks super cool. I really like it. So the construction on this is very simple. Uh, I just fed a length of paracord through both sides and then tied a square knot on one end and then ran the other side of the cord through that knot through this little thing I salvaged from another camera strap, but I think we'll 3D print this too eventually. Uh, and then I just did a little simple loopy do through my camera lug. So on the whole, I'm quite happy with this. It's comfortable, it looks cool. If there's one thing I could improve, it's actually my knot work. Uh, this loop is a little big and these tails don't look super fancy, so I'll have to come up with something better for that, but this is definitely a step in the right direction, I think. All right, it's time to scale it up. The only problem we're facing now is that the chains, if they get too large, won't fit on the print bed anymore. So I need some way to join them. And I'm thinking something silly, something cool, like a medallion. Uh, let's give it a shot. As far as how to join the chains to the medallion, I'm gonna take inspiration from backpacks. Specifically, those little plastic connectors with the two teeth that expand into uh, a lock so that you can't pull the straps apart. See the picture of that description didn't make any sense. It's cat time.
All right, before we print this, a quick note about the medallion. I left it blank so that it could be customized. I'm going to customize it in Bamboo Studio by selecting the text tool, typing in some custom text, and then clicking right on the center of the medallion. Uh, for my print, two millimeters of thickness is a little bit much, so I'm going to lower it to one millimeter. That looks better. And then I'm going to go over to the text shape in the uh, object panel on the left, right click it, and change the filament to white. There we go. I think that looks pretty sweet. I might change the font, but I think you get the idea. Let's print it. I don't know, that looks pretty neat. I am pretty happy about how this clipped join worked out. It is pretty robust. Like, I don't think it's gonna come apart very easily, even if I wanted it to, which maybe I could improve. But on the whole, this seems solid. All right, here it is assembled. Again, the construction is very simple here. On this side, I have that same simple loop. Then I ran the paracord through the whole structure, out the other side, where I put both strands through this camera lug and tied a simple square knot. This square knot can be untied and retied higher up to tighten the strap if you want, uh, but otherwise it's just solid, holds it well. I thought about building a special 3D printed clamp or something to hold the cords in place and make it adjustable that way, but I actually think that would be over-engineering it. These knots do the trick. Well, I am out in the mountains where I have been adventure testing this strap, and I'm pleased to report that it's been working pretty well. Uh, if I was going to change anything, I'd probably reprint this in a little bit more of a durable plastic like ABS, and I might make the medallion just a little bit smaller. It's a little, it's a little too much, but otherwise, awesome.